In the beginning, Marilyn Monroe was not a likely candidate for the role of sex goddess. You could begin the story of her rise to that estate in a number of places, but perhaps as good a place as any is at the Blue Book Modeling School in Hollywood. Its proprietor, Miss Emmeline Snively, was Marilyn Monroe's first mentor. Well, she first was brought in by a photographer in August 1945. When she was working in a defense plant, she had been in a beauty contest, and this man had shot some test shots of her and thought she might make a good model and brought the Kodachromes in to show me. And what made you think then that she had the qualities which you would want as a model? Well, she was a clean, shining, pleasant, expressive-faced little girl. Uh, we said the girl next door type. And um, she was wearing a little white dress. You wouldn't necessarily wear this on a photographic job. And it was as clean and white and ironed and shining as she was. But um, she had a great deal of expression, and um, she was very surprised, I believe, to be in the Ambassador Hotel where my office was. She looked at the board of, of, the, of covered girls and said, oh, those girls are so pretty. But I thought what a wonderful little doll she would be on a cover someday. What did she look like when she first came to you, Miss Snively? Well, when she first came to us, she looked like the girl next door, as I said before, and she was in my casting directory that we get out of all the girls we represent and that go to modeling school. I have a picture here that you might be interested in seeing. She had what I call California blonde hair, which is darker in the winter and lighter in the summer because it's bleached on top. And it was really too curly. When she leaned over, it just stayed in the same uh, coiffure. It didn't fall down as it should. So eventually, I talked her into it. And believe me, I had to talk her into anything that was not just natural and not just Norma Jean Doherty, which was her name then. She had to be talked into lightening it so that she was a blonde in the winter as well as in the summer. 